So why is Allah saying to him the following ayah? Stay away, ya Muhammad, from idols. You're supposed to be a follower of Jesus, and you use the words like that. Well, and it's you, not my you words. I, 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 it's not my words. It's the words of Allah. Are you embarrassed of Allah? Muhammad, yes, again, the, the the meaning of Muhammad, guys, it's a divine title. It means the praised one. Muhammad means the praised one. How can a, a mere human being call the praised one and get away with it? Muhammad here, when he took this divine title, he wanted to make himself equal to Jesus Christ. Glory to his name. Because he is the praised one. Actually, it's the divine title in the Arabic. That's the divine title of Jesus Christ. His real name is Qutham. What reputation? Exactly, what reputation? Guys, I, I don't think that you have an idea yet how much damage today's last stream is. Why? Because you have no idea what I'm going to bring. Watch. Just keep watching, guys, and taking notes. Here. <sighs> here, here, here. There is a guy, guys, a very famous guy, there's a guy, and sorry guys, this is in the Arabic, but I'm going to translate for you, don't worry. There's a guy who is whose name is Dr. He's a doctor. Dr. Yusuf. Yusuf Zaidan, very famous doctor in the Arab world. And actually he's from Egypt, if I'm not mistaken. Dr. Yusuf Zaidan. And he is the doctor. He is the director, actually. Director and doctor at the same time, is the director of uh, the manuscripts, manuscripts, look how what kind of high position he has, the Islamic manuscripts and the museum, right? The museum in Alexandria, and his, uh, of, of the office, right? In the of, of the office of Alexandria. And he said, he said, and he's going to bring proof, he said, and he wrote this down, it's, it's famous. He said that Muhammad's name is, and it's in the bottom with the red line underneath, his, the name of Muhammad, the real name of Muhammad for the first 40 years was Qutham bin Abd al Lat. Muhammad's name is Qutham, the son of the slave of Alat. <laughs> Alat, guys, is one of the daughters, remember, one of the daughters of Allah, the supreme moon idol. So Muhammad, he is the son of Qutham, the son of Abdelat, the son of the slave of Alat. That's his real name. Not Qatham, Qutham. Philorera. Not Qatham, Qutham. Qutham with a U. Qutham. Qutham, the son of the slave of Allah. That's the real name of Muhammad for the first 40 years. That was his name. Imagine, Muhammad used to walk around carrying that name. That's because that's his first name. Muhammad is a divine title. It's not a name. It's a title from of God himself. Muhammad is the divine title of God. Of God. So his name that he adopted... He called himself God of Muslims, of Islam. Qutham, Qutham bin Abdullah. That's his real name. Okay? Qutham, not Qatham. Qutham. Uh oh. Here is more. Look, this is my translation. Muhammad's real name is Qutham. Ibn Abdullah, Qutham, the son of the slave of Allah. Maybe you want to take a screenshot. Qutham, Ibn Abdullah. And this is according to a very famous, famous 
doctor and at the same time the director of the manuscripts and the museum in Alexandria, okay? And where did he get this from, you might ask? Because Muslims will ask, hey, maybe this guy is lying. <laughs> really? <laughs> and guys, he is quoting another famous scholar and a doctor. His name is Muhammad Hussein Haikal in uh, in his book in his book on page 39 right and here is the book again so dr yusuf zaidan dr yusuf zaidan right dr yusuf zaidan he is quoting the book of this guy his name is muhammad hussein haikal doctor he's a doctor and his the book title, as you see here, the cover of the book, it's Hayat Muhammad, meaning the life of Muhammad. So he's quoting, he's, he's quoting it from a book, from the book of Muhammad Hussein Haikal, a doctor, a famous scholar in Islam. And the book title is Hayat Muhammad on page 39. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Emotional damage. Any Muslim? <laughs> Any Muslim? <laughs> Guys, and as you saw, as you see here, he also claims that Muhammad's name. It says here, in Ism Muhammad alladhi atlaqa alayhi. So it's the name of Muhammad uh, when he was born. Right, the moment Muhammad is born, his mother, maybe his father, maybe his grandfather, they gave him the name Qutham bin Abdullah. Qutham bin Abdullah. So Muhammad's birth name, again, Muhammad's birth name is what? Qutham bin Abdullah. Qutham, the son of the slave of Allah. Bam! Emotional damage. That's the true name of Muhammad for the first 40 years. The moment he was born, they gave him Qutham. That's his name. We should, we should stop calling him Muhammad. It's not his name. It's a divine title. right? It's a divine title of God. Muhammad means the praised one. The praised one. All right? And we find this information again in Hayat Muhammad. That's the book title. The Life of Muhammad by Muhammad Hussein. Haikal by Muhammad Hussein Haikal. This is his book, right? And uh, Doctor Doctor Yusuf Zaidan continued saying that this is the name of Muhammad in the first forty years of his life, right? In the first forty years of his life, Arba'im Arba'in Am, right? Arba'in Aman. So for the first forty years, Muhammad was called Qutham. Qutham bin Abdullah. Qutham bin Abdullah. Qutham, the slave, the son of the slave of Allah. So, guys, fa the father's name of Muhammad, the the name of the name, guys. I want you to take notes for the love of God. The name of the father of Muhammad was what? The slave of. Al-Lad. So guys, even the name of Muhammad is fabricated by Muslims, by much later Muslims. His real name is the slave of Al-Lad. Abdullah, not Abdullah. Guys, Abdullah is a lie. It's a later fabrication. It's a lie. Even the name of the father of Muhammad is a lie. Muhammad's name is a lie. The real name of the father of Muhammad is Abdullah. The name of the father of Muhammad is Abdullah, the slave of Lat, the slave of Alat, one of the three daughters of Allah, one of the three daughters of Allah. So Muhammad is the son of the slave of Alat, Abdullah, Abdullah, exactly Abdullah. That's the name of the father of Muhammad, not Abdullah. Guys, whenever you have a guy who is a John Doe in Islam, you call him 
Abdullah, meaning the slave of Allah. But the real name, the real name of Muhammad's father is Abdullah, the slave of Lat, one of the idols, one of the three daughters of Allah, the supreme moon idol. Allah, yeah, the worshipper of Allah, exactly. The worshipper of Allah. Bunch of pagans, right? They are nothing but bunch of pagans, my friends. Do you see it? Take a screenshot. Take a screenshot. His real name was Qutham for the first 40 years of his life. Ibn Abdullah. Qutham, the son of the slave of Allah, not Abdullah. Not Abdullah, guys. Abdullah is a lie. It's a lie from hell. You see, guys, Islam is built on lies, on top of lies, on top of lies, on top of lies, and on top of emotional damage exactly brother emotional damage whenever i go live muslims have emotional damage <laughs> that's true <laughs> it's Qutham ibn abdallah that's your prophet's name ya muslimin stop lying to us you are a bunch of liars you are a jahil, ya Muslim. You have no idea what you're talking about. Right? And we provided the reference and the proof, guys. For the first 40 years, Muhammad was called Qutham. Then he took the divine title Muhammad. I hope you are taking notes, guys. Right? I hope you are taking notes. All right. And here's another book that actually talked about this. And this is the book of Al-Jalal ibn al Jawzi. Right in his book, Al Mudhish. In his book, Al Mudhish, he also mentioned that. So we gave you not one but two references. Two references. Okay, this is reference number two. All actually talk about that Muhammad's real name for the first forty years of his life. Let's say when he went, was married to Khadija. Khadija didn't marry Muhammad. Khadija married Qutham ibn Abdullah. Khadija, the first wife of Muhammad, she married Qutham ibn Abdullah. There is nothing called Muhammad. There is nothing called Muhammad. Okay? There you go. Let us continue bringing down the hammer. I, guys, I'm sure you never heard of this before. Right? I'm sure that you never heard of this before. Because this is really damaging. And somebody like me need to take a huge dive in the Islamic books to provide for you what Muhammad's real name is. Now, guys, we have now, now we have to do our homework again. Why, Rob? We need to understand what the meaning, <laughs> I'm not done yet. The meaning of Qutham. What is Qutham? What does Qutham mean? What, again, what does Qutham mean, Rob? Can you tell us what Qutham mean? It must have a meaning. Yes, it does. <laughs> what does it mean? EMB Maxim already gave the spoiler. Thank you for the spoiler. Yes. There you go. EMB Maxim, thank you for the spoiler, my friend. I'm going to block you after today's live stream. No, no, I'm, I'm kidding. It means actually the poop of men. Muhammad's name. Imagine, guys, Muhammad is born. <laughs> and the one who gave him his name, maybe it was his grandfather, I don't know. Because uh, I'm sure Muhammad never knew his real father. Maybe it was his mother. They called him the poop of man. Yes. The name Qutham, and thank you for the spoiler again, brother EMB Maxim, no problem. Qutham means poop of men. Rob, can you back it up? Yes, here is, here is from now on, guys. I'm going to back it up. In this book, Taj al-Arus, Taj al-Arus, basically it means the crown of, uh, uh, of, of, of a woman who is going to get married. What do you call a, someone, a, a woman who is going to get married? Guys, help me out here. Uh, the bride. The, 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 the crown of the bride, Taj al-Arus, Taj al-Arus, the crown of the bride, bride a woman is, that's going to get married, Taj al-Arus, volume 33, by Murtadi, Murtadi al-Zubayri. Murtadi al-Zubayri. Try to say that ten times. 
Murtadi Zubairi. He is the one who wrote, who wrote this book. Very famous book, guys, in the Sunni Islamic world. Taj al-Arus, volume 33. Maybe you want to take a screenshot. This is the cover of the book. Taj al-Arus, famous book. And it has many volumes, guys, as you see. Very, very huge uh, collection of books. It's more than one book. Volumes, many volumes. Let us do some homework. On page 228, we see that they are calling Muhammad the following. Anta Qutham wa khawquka Qutham. You are Qutham, ya Muhammad, and you are created from Qutham. You are Qutham. Anta Qutham wa khawquka Qutham. Meaning, you are Qutham, and you are created. You are a creation of Qutham. You are created from Qutham. Take a screenshot, guys. Take a screenshot. Here is again the the, the cover of the book, Taj al-Arus, volume 33, by Murtadi al-Zubayri. On page 228, you can find this information. You are Qutham, and you are created, or you are the creation from Qutham. Now, what is Qutham, Ra? Prove that he's poop. Prove that he's crap. Just wait. I'm not done yet. Here is an online link. Maybe you know you don't, you don't know Arabic or whatever. Here is an online link where it also says that Muhammad is his creation. He's created from Qutham. And this is Tafsir Al-Qurtubi. We scroll up. Tafsir Al-Qurtubi. The Al-Qurtubi, yes. <laughs> the kingdom website of Saudi Arabia for uh, uh, Surah. The, uh, tafsir of the Quran for Surah 94, Ayah 1. So it's even the Tafsir of the Quran, Rob? That Muhammad is called, he is the creation or the created from Qutham? Yes. Okay. وَخَلْقُكَ Qutham. وَخَلْقُكَ Qutham. You are created from Qutham. Okay? Online version. Maybe you want, uh, if you want to, I'm not sure how it will come out when you use Google Translate. You right-click. If you use Google Chrome, you right-click and then Choose English, translate to English. Maybe uh, you will find this translation. You are created from Qutham. Right? Okay. So even in Tafsir al-Qurtubi, yes. Tafsir al-Qurtubi. Now, guys, let us continue. Now that we know that Muhammad is created from Qutham, and he is Qutham, we go to we go to uh, this book, Al-Mu'jam al-Zaghir. Al-Mu'jam al-Zaghir. The book cover. Mu'jam al-Zaghir. Uh, and we go to this book and we see what is Al Qutham? What is Al Qutham? What is Al Qutham? Uh oh. Look what it says here. It says here that it's Al Latch. Al Latch. Bil Adira. Who is Al Latch? Bil Adira. He is the Latch. Bil Adira. Well, Adira here. Got. Al insan, a, a, he is the poop of man. So, guys, Muhammad, his name, Qutham, the original name of Muhammad is poop of men. Baraz al insan, a, baraz al insan. Rob, prove that this means poop. Sure, here. Baraz. Or, or Buraz, Buraz al Insan, Buraz al Insan is poop of men. Bend over, who cares if CP is live? Go to CP, all right? I don't care. Stay here if you li like us to bring down the hammer. So, Muhammad's name, guys, is poop of men. Po our poop. Holy uh, poop, brother. Poop, yes, poop. Muh Muhammad's real name, Qutha, means poop. Muhammad is crap. I mean, Muslims are now very proud. Right? It's a beautiful name given to Muhammad. What a great name for Muhammad to be uh, to be given his. This is guys again. Qutham that you see here is the birth name of Muhammad. Now, do you understand why Muhammad had to change his name? <laughs> the birth name. Oh, sorry, I didn't. Uh, I created a type. Birth name of Muhammad. Birth name of Muhammad. That's Qutham, right? The birth name of Muhammad is the poop of men. The crap of men. Whenever you go to the toilet, 
Whenever you see a toilet, think of Muhammad. Whenever you see Muhammad, you think of the, whenever you think about Muhammad, think of the toilet. Whenever you think about Muhammad, think of the toilet. Whenever you think about the toilet, going to the toilet, think of Muhammad. Whenever you, you think about Muhammad, think of the toilet, and so on. Brother. Emotional damage. I'm not kidding. This is what the books are saying about his uh, birth name. Now, do you understand why Muhammad was mentally ill? Imagine, guys, for the first 40 years of his life, Muhammad was called poop. Imagine being called poop all the time. I mean, you, you would go crazy after some time. Hey, uh, poop, come here. Yeah, yeah, Ibn Abdullah. Yeah, Ibn Abdullah, the son, the, sla the son of the slave of Allah, come here. You poop. Emotional damage. Is this a disaster or not? Hello, Linda, Yeshua, God bless you. Rag Dagobert, uh, did you change your name? I think uh, you changed your name. I, I can't remember what your original name was. God bless you guys. Welcome. Epi Frenzy also in the house. Welcome. All the people who just joined. God bless you. Yes, this is the real name of Muhammad. There you go. There you go. There you go. So we proved that his birth name for the... And uh, for the first 40 years, that was his name, Qutham ibn Abdullah. And the meaning of Qutham, the name of Muhammad, is poop, the poop of men, right? Buraz al insan, the poop of men, of a, a, a man, a, a, someone who is a son of Adam, right? Qutham. All right. All right, all right. If you continue another book, Rob, you are you have been taking huge deep dives. Yes, brother, because I had to go all out today. Here is another book called Al Marifa wa Tarikh Al Marifa wa Tarikh, Volume One, page two hundred sixty-nine. Volume One, page two hundred sixty-nine. Look what this one says. Look what this one, this book says on page 269. Look what it says. It says here that from Al Abbas, don't confuse him with Ibn Abbas because this is the father of Ibn Abbas. An Al Abbas, so the father, according, according, according to the father of Ibn Abbas, right? His name was Al Abbas, right? Al Abbas is the name of the father of Ibn Abbas. So this is the uncle of Muhammad. Who? The uncle of Muhammad, Al Abbas. Right? The uncle of Muhammad, Al Abbas. This same guy, guys, who said that Muhammad uh, uh, started to stink when Muhammad died. Remember that hadith? When Muhammad died, the same Al Abbas said, bury your friend fast because he start, you know, he, he, Muhammad starts to st uh, stink. His body starts to fart. That same Al Abbas, yes, his uncle. His, un his uncle said that when the Quraysh, look, in the Quraysh, jealousy, so the Quraysh sat down. Who? Quraysh, the tribe of Muhammad of Mecca, the Quraysh of Mecca, they sat down and they uh, uh, started to mention or remember, فذكروا, they started to remember, so they started to talk about their accounts, let's say their lineages and whatnot. So whenever the, the leaders of the Quraysh, they sat down, they, uh, they used to talk even about their accounts, right? Their accounts, their, basically their lineage. And then Al-Abbas continued saying, they, the leaders of the Quraysh, look what Al-Abbas, his, his uncle said to Muhammad, because he's talking to Muhammad, right? He's saying to Muhammad, the Quraysh, when they sat down and they started to talk about their accounts, basically their lineage and whatnot, they made you فَجَعَلُوا مِثْلَكَ مِثْلْ نَخْلَ فِي كَبْوَى مِنَ الْأَرْضِ Meaning, they made you, they made you a kabwa, like a, a date, a date, you know the fruit, the date from a palm tree, right? When it falls down on the ground, they they made you kabwa, and we're, I'm going to... Uh, Tell you again, guys, what kabwa means. I created a short video about it, but I'm going to mention it again. They made you a kabwa on the ground. What does that mean? We need to understand what kabwa means. We have to go to such a book like this one. Tahdib al-Lugha, volume 10, Ibn Ahmad 
Azhari. That's the writer of the book. Ibn Ahmad al-Azhari. In his book, Tahdib al-Lugha, volume 10, right? We go to page 217. Guys, I'm translating for you, okay? I'm translating. Qawla fi kabwa. So uh, the meaning of kabwa, according to him, uh, what is the meaning of kabwa? And it says here it's uh, the sweeping, right? The sweeping of dirt. The sweeping of dirt that is being swept. How do you call this this tool that uh, you know uh, that you clean your house with or the floor with? What do you call it, guys? So the meaning of kabwa. We are looking for the meaning of kabwa. The word kabwa. It's a very old name, uh, a word. It's an old word that we don't use much, or uh, not anymore, actually. The meaning of kabwa. That's what we are looking for. Kab, kabwa, 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 kabwa. What's the meaning of kabwa? A broom, yeah. So you're you. Uh, so basically, you are being called by the Quraysh. You're called a kabwa, and when uh, when you when a doll date, when a date, a fruit, a date falls on the ground and being swept away. It falls on the ground and swept by a broom, right? You can this right when you do think you do uh, you do can uh, you know you do you're going to sweep. You can this right a. I'm getting a call. Hello? Yeah. Fargot mother. Filthy son of Satan. Guys, that was again my personal stalker. My personal stalker, Ibn Fart. Yeah, Mr. Farty, Farty boy himself. My stalker, guys. Yeah, far, Farty boy. Yeah. Ultimate Farty boy. Uh, why are you calling? You don't even care about all of these hadiths and books, uh, Abdul. You're a Quran only Muslim. Why are you calling me? Anyway, so guys, Muhammad is being called a kabwa. And kabwa is something, dirt, that falls on the floor. And basically, they are insulting Muhammad. The Quraysh, the Quraysh is calling Muhammad dirt on the floor. The Quraysh, <laughs> the Quraysh, his name is not only Qutham, which means human poop. They even insulted Muhammad because Muhammad is nothing. They don't even know his, who his father is. Right? They don't even know his lineage. So whenever the lineage and the accounts of the Quraysh were brought up, when the leaders used to sit down and talk about their accounts and lineage, when the name of Muhammad was brought up, they said he's nothing but dirt. That is being swept, you know, like a, when you are eating, something falls on the f on the floor. That's Muhammad. That's Muhammad. Muhammad is dirt. On, uh, you know, it's Muhammad is dirt. Muhammad is uh, is uh, is dirt on the floor that you step in with your shoes, with your sandals, that you walk on with your sandals. Right, dirt. And uh, it's a low class name. Muhammad's name is a low class name. Uh, the, uh, Muhammad's name is broken, right? Muhammad is low class, according to the Quraysh. These are his own family. Imagine, guys, his own family, his own tribe is are talking in this way about Muhammad. Here is more. In a book that you see here in front of you, Imta al Isma, in this book, Imta al Isma, volume three, by Ahmad bin Ali al Makrizi, by Ahmad ibn Ali al Makrizi, volume three, here is the cover of the book, my friends. We go to page 400, sorry, 200, 204. Look, page 204. Again, the uh, uncle of Muhammad is mentioned, An, An al Abbas. And we go, we continue on page 205, 205, 205. We see again this hadith. That again, when uh, it says here that uh, Al Abbas, the uncle of Muhammad, the father of Ibn Abbas, yes, the uncle of Muhammad, he said, Ya Rasulullah, inna Quraysh and jalasu fatadhakkaru ahsabahum, right, their accounts, so the Quraysh, they were talking about their accounts, their lineage, basically, faja'alu mithlaka mithl nakhla, like you, uh, they, they made you like look like a date that falls on the ground, fi kanas al ard so when they when you sweep the date from the floor, you're basically dirt. The Quraysh, again guys, the Quraysh 
called Muhammad dirt. Imagine they used to call him poop, that his name was poop. On top of that, they called him dirt. What's left? What's left? All right. And here is more to explain the kabwa, guys. Now let us look for the meaning of kabwa. If we go to this book, Al-Fa'iq Fi Gharib Al-Hadith, volume 3, by a very, very famous scholar, Al-Zamakshari, right? Again, Al-Fa'iq Fi Gharib Al-Hadith, volume 3, by Al-Zamakshari. In his book, we see on page 242 that Al-Kabwa, the same Al-Kabwa that, is, that falls on the ground, right, that falls on the ground and, uh, and, and you know, it's on the floor, it becomes dirt. You don't, nobody wants to eat that from the floor, right, guys? So al-kabwa means al-mazbala. Any Arabic speaker, like sister, uh, are you still with me, sister? Linda, Yeshua, you are there, right? You know what al-mazbala means. When you go to al-mazbala, you're going to throw garbage. <laughs> it means garbage, my friends. So Muhammad, according to the Quraysh of Mecca, his lineage is compared to garbage, a dump site. So Muhammad is a garbage, a dump site where you throw your garbage in. Muhammad is dumpster, exactly. Muhammad, the prophet of Islam, is dumpster, dump site. That's what the Quraysh used to say about Muhammad. Whenever the lineage, whenever their accounts were brought up, when they used to talk about their accounts and lineage. Imagine, guys. And these are the family of Muhammad. These are the tribe of Muhammad. Right? Uh, Masih, Masihi Muslim. You're, even your name is a joke. But anyway, uh, Abdul, your, the mother of Muhammad was a, was a whore. I kid you not. The mother of Muhammad was a whore. Because according, according to pre-Islamic sources, Right? The sources that talk about the pre-Islam. Muhammad was a product of Al-Istibda. The original father of Muhammad, not his real father, right? Not his real father, because he used to, he was involved in practice called Al-Istibda. Al-Istibda. So uh, the real name of Muhammad's father is, as we mentioned, Abdelat. Abdelat. And Muhammad is the son of Abdelat, the slave of Lat one of the three daughters of Allah, he was sending uh, his mother, Amina, to sleep with a noble man to get noble seed inside her. We call that al-istibda, nikah al-istibda, nikah al-istibda. You know, put noble seed inside his wife so that his wife become pregnant with noble seed. That's what they used to do, hoping that when Muhammad would have grown up, I mean, Qutham, when he would grow up, become a rich man, a noble. That's what they used to believe, right? So Amina was nothing but a prostitute. So don't be too proud about it. Amina was nothing but a prostitute. Her husband was whoring her out to a noble man. And I believe the real father, guys, I myself believe that the real father of Muhammad was nobody else than Waraka bin Nufl. Because Waraka bin Nufl was uh, the cousin of Khadija. And Khadija is a rich woman. So her cousin is a rich, a rich guy, right? So I think the original father of Muhammad was uh, Warqa bin Nufl. That's what I believe. Right? And Muslims much later said, well, uh, Muhammad stayed in the womb of his mother, Amina, for four years. <laughs> Imagine, guys. Uh, Muhammad's mother must have been an elephant. Right? An elephant. Yeah, maybe also Buhaira, Allahu <laughs> A'lam. Linda, Linda Joshua. You know, some people say, you know, uh, could uh, big chance that uh, the monk, the monk, the heretical monk, Buhaira, could have been the father of Muhammad too. Because the monk Buhaira taught Muhammad, right? He told him, uh, uh, you know, uh, when, because remember Muhammad was an orphan and he was uh, being uh, dragged by many people, you know, teach him stuff and whatnot. Uh, John Smith, yes, Waraka was a Nasrani. Don't confuse uh, Nasara with uh, 
Nestorians, Nasara guys, my friends, Nasara are, uh, I, I believe they are nothing but a uh, fabrication because these people do not exist anymore. They were a bunch of heretical people, right? That Muhammad destroyed, he wiped them out from the Arabic Peninsula. The Ab Arabic Peninsula, basically the Hijaz is nowadays Mecca and Medina. According to the Islamic books, there were people called Nasara. We don't know who Nasara are. They are certainly not Christians because in Arabic, we Christians are Messiahiyin or Messiahiyun, right? From Al Messiah, followers of Christ. Al Messiah, right? Al Messiah. Messiahiyin or Messiahiyun. What are, what are Nasara? Allahu Alam, I don't know. Allah knows breast, I don't know. We don't know what Nasara are. We are certainly not Nasara. We are certainly not Nasara. So Muhammad, the false fraud prophet, confused the Nasara that he butchered and expelled. They don't exist anymore. He confused them with us, the real Christians, Messiheen. But I think it's nothing but a fabrication. These people didn't even exist. Right? No, you Sherbil Yusuf, you are you are a jahil. Don't talk about stuff that you don't know. Right? You don't you don't know what you're talking about. Hayden Marvel, no. Nasara are not the people of Najran, no. That's that's not true. You, we you know why? Because we nobody can prove that these people existed. Nasara, we don't know if they are even existed because only the Islamic books are talking about Nasara. Could have been uh, an invention and a fabrication, okay? Nasara, because these people don't exist. So how can how can Muslims claim that these people existed? These heretical group, because these people used to believe that you had Allah, Allah is the Father. Then you had Maryam, as stated in chapter five, ayah hundred and sixteen, and you have Isa. So they worshipped Allah as the Father. They worshipped Maryam as his wife. I kid you not. And they worshipped Isa as the son of Allah. That's what they worshipped according to Islam. This is why the Quran is attacking the Nasara. They are, the Quran is not attacking us. The Quran is not attacking Christians. We are not Nasara. Okay, but uh, Sharbil Yusuf, Habibi, don't make claims that you can't back up, okay? Sharbil Yusuf, I love you, my friend. If you are a, a, a Messihi, okay? Uh, but don't talk about stuff that you don't know about because you cannot prove it okay Sharbil Yusuf sorry sorry my friend but don't say stuff don't say stuff that you don't know anything about okay I love you my friend forgive me if I if you think that I insulted you but uh, don't talk about stuff that you don't know about because what you said doesn't make any sense okay that's a lie what you just said Please correct yourself. Never ever say that again. Okay? So guys, again, the Quraysh of Mecca called Muhammad Al-Kabwa, and Al-Kabwa means Al-Mazbala. So Muhammad, my friends, Muhammad is a dump site. Muhammad is a garbage site where you throw your garbage in. That's what the Quraysh used to call Muhammad. Muhammad is garbage. His lineage is garbage. Muhammad is the poop of man, as we showed you. Right? And guys, to prove that mezbala, you know, Arabic speakers know what the meaning of mezbala is, right, guys? But let me show you from oh from almaani.com, a very famous, okay. I'm using VPN guys, so I always need to some websites want me to uh, okay, I have to click all the boats. <laughs> I think this is a boat too. Okay, three boats. And another time. Okay, okay, stop, man. Verify, okay. So guys, here's the an online website for the meaning of classical words. Al Ma'ani, right? Why didn't this work, man? Again? Buses? Okay, now this time. Why didn't it work last time? Okay, I have to click on all the buses. Stop, man. Okay. Here. Look, guys. Mezbala. 
Mezbela is what? Dump. Filthy place. Mezbela. Garbage bin. Dump site. Mezbela. Garbage dump. Do you see it? Garbage dump. So when, uh, when uh, you know, when the Quraysh called Muhammad Al-Kabwa, Al-Kabwa, they called him Mezbala. Mezbala. Mezbala, Al-Kabwa. Muhammad is a dump site. Do you see it? And here is an online version, my friends. Look. Zbala, right? Zbala is junk. Rubbish, garbage. Do you see it? Here is an online version for this information. Because not everybody can download books or know Arabic. If you right-click, you will see that the, that Al-Abbas is mentioning that whenever the Quraysh used to sit down and talk about their uh, uh, accounts, their lineages, right? Whenever they used to sit down and talk about the lineage, they made Muhammad like a do date, a date, the fruit date from the date palms. Whenever it falls down, uh, it becomes in kabwa, uh, on the on the floor, on the floor. So and and you see Muhammad, Muhammad then continues trying to fix <laughs> the damage, right? But yeah, it's it's in front of you, right? It's in front of you, as you see, Muhammad is kabwa and al kabwa is mezbala. Is there any Muslim? Is there any Muslim who wants to defend the Mezbala Prophet, the dump, the garbage, the Prophet of Islam? Any anyone? Any Muslim? Man, this is damaging, man. Emotional damage. Exactly, brother. This is damaging. Muhammad, guys. Again, Muhammad's real name for 40 years. Muhammad's real name, the, his birth name, the birth name of the Prophet. The uh, Prophet with an I, by the way, was Qutham ibn Abdullah. Qutham, his name was Qutham, the son of the slave of Allah. And we showed you from different books, right? That his name is Qutham bin Abdullah. Qutham bin Abdullah. Over and over for the f for the first year, uh, first forty years of his life, right? When he was born, they gave him the name Qutham. So Muhammad used to walk around for forty years carrying the name Qutham, Qutham, right? Qutham ibn Abdullah. That's the real name of Muhammad. Again, Muhammad means the praised one. So Muhammad, after 40 years, when he proclaimed prophethood with the help of Khadija and Waraka, right? When he became supposed prophet, without any evidence, of course, he changed his name. He took a divine title, the praised one, Muhammad. Hamd, the praise. But... Uh, the Quran is clear. All praise should be only for Allah. Right, guys? Look. You see, Muhammad called himself basically Allah. Rob, prove it. Sure. Here. Surah Al-Fatiha. Alhamdulillah. Rabbil Alameen. All praise is to Allah. So how is uh, all praise to Allah? Well, Muhammad is called Muhammad. Hamd. Alhamd. The praise is for Allah alone. Right, young Muslimin? So when Muhammad adopted the divine title of a god, he came He came and said, I am God, basically. Muhammad basically said, I am God. Right? I am God. I'm the praised one. Uh, Masihi Muslim. How are you Masihi and Muslim at the same time, you idiot? Of course you're an idiot. How are you a Christian and a Muslim at the same time? Your, your name is a joke, like you, like your prophet. I'm not insulting. You are insulting yourself, my friend. How are you a Masihi Muslim? <laughs> How are you, are you a Christian? Are you a Chrislam? Guys, we have a Chrislam here with us. His name is Chrislam. Welcome to Chrislam. Welcome, Mr. Chrislam. Uh, you, you are making fun of yourself. You are insulting yourself, not me. You are, you are making yourself the clown of the village. Well, uh, well, congratulations if you... If you think this is a correct name. <laughs> Guys, his name is Chrislam. I kid you not. 
How are you a Masihi Muslim? I, I've never hear, heard this before. This is something new, guys. A troll. You're a troll, man. Sit down, boy. Shh. Sit down, boy. Sit down. Here. This is good for you. Look. For people like you, you know, jokers like you. Here. Enjoy that one. Lick it like you lick the black stone, brother. All right? All right? So, guys, do you see? Do you see? How damaging today's live stream was or is. I don't want to stay much longer, to be honest with you, because it seems that there are no Muslims out there who dares to call in, right? Because they know what will happen to them, right? Is there any Muslim? <laughs> Backup channel, please subscribe. Did you subscribe, guys?